children of the atom. Men and women granted power beyond measure. Mankind, not understanding these gifts of evolution, have chosen to meet them with persecution and death. There are those mutants that agree with the humans that this world is too small for both species, and that one shall, by necessity, be forever stricken from the face of the Earth. I believe in an alternative, a world wherein man and mutant coexist in peace. They're providing a much needed balance to an all too fragile world. To that end, I have assembled those men and women willing to fight for that peace, to defend the world that fears and hates them. To that end, I, Professor Charles Xavier, assembled the X-Men. Magneto, what the hell is going on? Aren't these Prime Sentinels under your control? Of course they're not. It appears that Bastion, despite all reason, has returned. Bastion? We barely beat him the last time. I'll lay odds that he's the one who took Forge, too. Forge? Yes, it all makes sense now. The Sentinels that drove me from my Citadel had technology designed to strip a mutant of their powers. Forge has made a weapon like this in the past, has he not? He has. I should know. I was the first victim. But the weapon was destroyed, and Forge vowed he would never make another. Not willingly, at any rate. Come, we have much to discuss. All of us. A hasty council of war was convened, consisting of some of the most powerful mutants alive. Their mutual goal, end this new sentinel menace before it ends them. In the coming battle, no quarter would be asked and none given. Nothing short of the very fate of mutant kind hung in the balance. Bastion's scent? He's in the upper tower, where the throne room is located. What do you propose? Let's divide our forces into three groups. One group will hunt down and destroy the remaining sentinels. One group will stay here and protect the injured. And one group will go after Bastion. I should be the one to go. We'll send you, Wolverine, Juggernaut, and myself after Bastion. Such was the severity of the situation that no one noticed that Wolverine's wounds from the previous battle had not yet healed. And such is the caliber of the man known as Wolverine that he pressed on, saying nothing at all to the others. Homo sapiens superior. Come to take your... what is it again? Ah yes, your rightful place as the next step in human evolution. Well, your ascension means the death of mankind. And that is something I will not allow. Where's Forge? The Tinkerer, yes. I thought I would use him to properly motivate you, so... I did something special. Use a mutant to kill a mutant. Or in this case, to kill all mutants. He is resistant, I'll give him that. However, we broke him once, and we shall do so again. You're a monster, you know that, Bastion? Am I? What I do, I do to preserve the sanctity of mankind. You, Juggernaut, you're not even a mutant. It is for your species' benefit that I do all of this. I fight my own battles, Tin Man! If anyone's gonna waste the X-Men, it's gonna be me! What the... 
misguided fool. I did him a favor, actually. He's figured out how the transmat system works. He could have teleported Juggernaut almost anywhere. Never mind that. A quarter of our strength has been eliminated. What? Sitting in orbit between the Earth and the Moon lies Asteroid M. It is an artificial asteroid held in place solely by the will of one man, Magneto. To our knowledge, the transmat system links all of the master of magnetism's layers, earthbound or otherwise. Best you've got, Bastion. Device. He did not know that I had modified the design. I vowed that I would never create a weapon of such finality ever again. Armed with this knowledge, the X-Men began treating their friends. For some, it was a reawakening of what they considered a curse. But thankfully, they refused to give up their responsibility and hope for the day when man and mutant will live in peace. In short order, all was well again for the children of the atom. Magneto. There shall be no war today, X-Men. Today, we are all brothers. Phoenix assures me that there was nothing left of Bastion after their confrontation on Asteroid M, and Magneto confirms the same. I cannot help but remain apprehensive, however. Bastion may in fact be gone, but the threat still remains. As long as there are those that will allow their thoughts and actions to be governed by fear and hatred, we will forever be in danger. For that I am thankful that these brave men have joined me in making a stand against the evil not only in men's actions but in their hearts and souls as the X-Men. ...to store the plans for this device. He did not know that I... Yes. But thankfully, they refused to give up their responsibility and hope for the day when man and mutant will live in peace. In short order, all was well again for the children of the atom. Magneto. There shall be no war today, X-Men. Today, we are all brothers. Phoenix assures me that there was nothing left.